Hi, I'm Beth Cavanis from the New York Fed. Today I'd like to talk with you about how consumer credit is financed. The process that allows qualified borrowers to get a loan to buy a car, to use a credit card, to go to school, or to support a business. I'll also talk about what the Fed did during the recent financial crisis to support lending to individuals and small businesses with a program called TALF. In the United States, a large portion of consumer and small business loans are financed by investors. This process is important, and it matters a lot for our own lives. Let me give you a general overview of how the process works and how that process broke down during the recent financial crisis. Suppose you want to buy a car and need a loan to do it. You go to your local car dealer and find the car you want. And to help you buy the car, you then apply for a loan from the financing company of the car dealer. If you qualify and the loan is approved, you now have a car loan. But how did you get that loan? The financing company that gives you your loan needs cash to fund that loan, as well as the other loans it makes. Here's how the financing company gets that cash. The financing company, or perhaps a third party, takes customers' loans and bundles them together and then slices that bundle into pieces called ABS or asset-backed securities. The ABS are then sold to investors. The investors pay for the ABS with their own capital and perhaps some loans from their own lenders. So the investors buy the ABS, and the financing company now has cash to fund your car loan, and you can buy the car. For the financing company to continue to offer loans, however, it needs to feel confident that this process will keep working, and that investors will continue to have the cash to buy the ABS. So the loans that you and other people get to buy cars are financed by investors. Other loans, like student loans, credit card loans, and small business loans, are financed the same way. In normal times, this process works well. But what happens when it doesn't? When it doesn't, like during the recent financial crisis, the process breaks down. At the beginning of the crisis, investors stopped buying ABS. Some investors faced financial problems of their own. Others were willing to invest, but could not get loans to buy these ABS because lenders were pulling back. When investors stopped buying the ABS from the finance company, the finance company could not get its cash. Without that cash, the finance company could not give you your car loan. More broadly, families and businesses across the country could no longer get loans to buy cars, go to college, fund their small businesses, or use credit cards. The process broke down. So to fix the problem and to get the lending process going again, the Federal Reserve and the U.S. Treasury stepped in. The Fed and the Treasury created a program called TALF the term asset-backed securities loan facility. TALF stepped in to make loans to a wide range of investors to encourage the purchase of highly rated ABS. To get a loan, TALF required high quality collateral from investors. Once investors had access to loans, they could buy securities from the financing company. And the financing company then had the cash to make loans, and qualified borrowers could get a loan to buy a car from the car dealer. And that's exactly what happened. TALF worked and restarted this process. TALF helped to draw investors back into the ABS markets. At a time when credit had shut down for tens of millions of Americans, TALF supported nearly 3 million car loans, more than a million student loans, nearly 900,000 loans to small businesses and 150,000 other business loans, and millions of credit card loans. TALF ended in June 2010. There has not been a single credit loss to date. TALF did all this while earning about $1.2 billion in interest income for the U.S. taxpayer. To learn more about TALF, see our online questions and answers section. Thanks for listening.